What's up guys, it's Webster here bringing you guys a tutorial. Like I said, I'm trying to become more gaming-like. Um, so, this isn't a video game, but it has to do with a game. Um, it doesn't have to do with the Wii, it's with the Xbox. There's my Slim, and by you guys can tell by the, um, uh, the title, this is how to add your old Xbox 360 hard drive, like this one. Um... If you guys don't know what this is, it's the, sorry for the mess in here, this is my brother's room, so it's kind of messy, but it's the hard drive that goes on the side of the old Xbox, like 360 Pros and stuff, so yeah, what you're going to have to do is actually a pretty long uh, process, um, it's taking this hard drive, you have to open it up and take out this. Um, this is the actual hard drive itself, and that's what it looks like when you take it out. So, very difficult what you will need to do, or what I did. At least if you guys want to see my work, um, here it is. So here's the um, Xbox, my other 60 gigabyte hard drive. Um, as you see, I had to rip these holes to get the screws out and this was all folded up and protected and you need very small tools um, you need this we'll worry about later you don't need that right now but what you want to do is get a very small flathead screwdriver like this now it has to be really really small because everything you're going to rip out until you get to these tiny screws um, I try to get to where you can see little holes what these are, these are like security bolts, and what I think, um, you cannot buy those screwdrivers in stores, I don't know, I just haven't seen any. So you need a very small Phillips head, or, or a flat head, or if you're really strong, go ahead and try to rip it open. I tried that with this part, and it actually hurt pretty bad, because I thought I cut myself, but to get the plastic case off, um, what I did is I took a hammer, jabbed it, and I opened up the sides right there enough to where I can stick in the uh, part where you can like lift nails up and stuff and I just pried it open and ripped it off and then that's where this came in handy um, where I unscrewed there were a few that I was able to get undone um, barely and I got it out so when you guys get it out remember it is it does take a while on this what you have you have these little connectors things um, what you can do is you can just take those out right now so just unplug it like that but I recommend you save these just in case you want to hook it up to your old Xbox again so I just put mine right there so now now remember this is only for the Xbox 360 Slim um, I have the 4 gigabyte one so that's my reason why I wanted to attach one and you want to take your Xbox make sure it's unplugged and off um, just because it can't be too safe. I don't want you guys getting electrocuted. And if you guys look right here, there's a little... On one of the sides, you guys will see a little button. And you can take that part off. I'm going to step down the camera. So you can take it off, just like that. And there's the external hard drive input. Um, I'll get a flashlight so you guys can see what's going on in there. Okay, so... If we look in there, there's a little, there's little openings for extra slots. I don't know how to get a view of that. There we go. And what you need to do if you look in the end of the hard drive, um, it has those kind of entries. So you guys want to put it like this where the small side is on your left, the big side is on your right. And this part could take a really long time. Um, it took me a really long time to get just because that looks like it's in but it's actually not if you can take it out it's not in all the way so please bear with me guys you might want to skip a few minutes maybe in the video because I don't want to stop recording and stuff so bear with me guys this does take a while to um, get in so I'm just, I'm just gonna set this down right here I'll be talking while I do this so how's life going guys? Oh no way, did I get it already? Nope, no I didn't. Um, life for me is going good. Um, 
What else? What else? What else? Okay, um, expect some more tutorials like this. I am expecting to do more cool stuff like this. Um, it's really cool. Ooh, I got it already. Boom. So there it is, guys. Um, this is the reason, this is the way I tell that I got it in. I can't, I can't get that out. That's, it's really hard. So that's kind of a downfall. But that's where the pliers come in handy. Because you just take the pliers and stick them in. And you can pull it out. I'm not going to do that just because I don't want to put it back in. And if you guys want to check if it got, if it's working, I'm going to go ahead and plug your Xbox back in. Turn it on. I don't know where my controller is. It is in my chair. This is my gaming chair, guys. I play right underneath a foosball table of mine. Oh, it would help if the TV's on. Oh, I screw back over. So how's life, everybody? Hope it's going good for everyone. And sorry, my basement's pretty messy right now. I got socks everywhere and stuff, but you know me. All right, now you if you want to check, go to your system settings. As you guys can see, mine says I have 21 gigabyte point 21.4 gigabytes free. Um, before I've already added this hard drive before, so that's why it says that. But before it said like four megabytes. So you guys want to go to your system settings, go to memory. And there you go, you should say hard drive and memory unit. Hard drive is the actual thing you just put in, and memory unit is the actual Xbox. So, that's it guys, it's pretty simple, except for the hard work that you have to do to actually, to actually um, get the hard drive out. It's pretty hard, um, and don't worry, um, it does not void your warranty for your new Xbox. Um, I'm not sure if it does for your old Xbox, I don't know, but... It's worth it. And let's see, what else? That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe and have a great life. Peace.